So we the statement of the theorem is f and b is a sequence of complex measurable functions. Functions on x okay, such that f of x is limit and then to infinity f1 of x for all x in capital X. If there existed an integrable function g integrable such that modulus of fn of x less than or equal to g of x for all n and for all x x in capital x comma then the following two right then f is the limit function is integrable comma limit n to infinity integral over x mod f n minus f d mu is zero and limit n to infinity integral over x f n of x is f n d mu is integral over x f d mu this is the statement right so this condition is called a domination suppose a sequence of functions is dominated by a integrable function if the sequence converges point wise then the limit is integrable right and limit limit function is integrable limit integral of f n are interchangeable so proof so the proof line analysis pun right the facts we use in the proof okay facts first one fact is lemma right suppose g n is a non negative sequence of sequence of measurable functions okay we we'll take the c non negative as here sequence of non negative measurable functions then limits infimum integral gn okay d mu is greater than or equal to or you, you write this integral over x limit gn d mu is less than or equal to limit infimum integral over x g n d okay second fact about limit infimum supremum is first fact is this second one limit infimum a n plus b n is greater than or equal to limit infimum a n plus limit infimum b n and also the limit supremum a n plus b n is less than or equal to Limit supremum a n plus limit infimum b. Okay, third fact is limit infimum a n is always less than or equal to limit supremum a n, right? And fourth one, if a n are non-negative sequence, a n is a non-negative sequence, then and limit supremum a n is less than or equal to zero. Then what? A n is always non-negative. Limits infimum non-negative. Okay. We we'll write the uh, before writing this. Uh, we write the definition of convergence of sequence. If a n is any sequence, then and with the condition that limits infimum a n equal to limit supremum. A n then limit A n exists, right? And we say that A n can do this. Okay. Suppose if I prove limit infimum is greater than or equal to limit supremum, then from three and to this fact limit infimum A n is. Fifth fact is if for a sequence limit supremum 
an less than or equal to limit infimum b n a n then from 4 and 5 3 and 4 we say that a n continues okay the sixth fact is if a n is less than or equal to 0 for a non negative sequence sequence of non negative numbers numbers then limit infima always greater than or equal to 0 then limit exists limit a n exists okay limit a n exists these are these are the facts we are going to use in the proof of dominated convergence theorem right okay so now we write the equation number this is equation number one this is two this is three the last the last one is four okay so from equation from equation one mod f1 of x that is g of x right equation one implies that is for all x right so integrating okay applying limit on this applying the point wise limit we get and integrating point wise limit and integrating with respect to mu over x we get the following what is that if we apply the limit in this equation in the left hand side mod f n of x converge to mod f of x is less than or equal to g of x okay so this is further less than or equal to mod g of x so mod f is less than or equal to mod g okay while integrating this we have mod f d mu is less than or equal to integral over x mod g d mu. since g is integrable so this uh, integral the integral of mod g is finite so therefore integral over x mod f f is integral, right? This, this is that f is integral. So first point is proved. Okay, so from the triangle inequality, by the triangle inequality, so this is the first fact is proved. Next we prove that integral mod f n minus f d mu less than okay, converge to zero. So from the triangle inequality, not in that previous theorem, not the previous theorem, right? Now We take f n minus f. That means we take f n of x minus f of x, which is less than or equal to mod f n of x plus mod f of x. Right? And this equation is useful. This is five. So from five and from five and actually 2 and 5, right? From 2 and 5, this is 2 g of x, this is less than or equal to g of x, that is also less than or equal to so 2 g of x. So in place, 2 g minus mod f n minus f, okay, is greater than or equal to 0. Two g of x minus mod f n of x minus f of x is greater than or equal to 0 for all x and n. Okay, it implies 2g minus mod f n minus f is a sequence of non-negative measurable functions. Okay. 
measurable functions. So applying Fatus lemma on this function. Applying Fatus lemma on the sequence, we get integral over x 2g minus mod fn minus f d mu limits equal of this grid limit infinity integral over this is less than or equal to limit infimum integral over x 2g minus mod fn minus f d mu okay this just application of just we have applied the factors here. Correct. If the left hand side on the, on the factor 2 apply. Right? Limit infimum 2G. Yeah. Number 6. The left hand side have valid. Okay. The left hand side of 5, 6, right? 6 is integral over x limits infimum 2g minus mod fn minus f d which is greater than or equal to this number is here mod a minus b is less than or equal to mod a minus mod b okay but this is stuff I am going to write the rough work here. So I write the rough work here. Mod A plus minus mod B. This is mod A minus mod B. The consequence of triangle inequality says this is mod A minus B. Right? So this is oh, mod B minus A minus B is greater than or equal to mod A plus minus mod b right this is uh, thing i am going to use here this is integral over x integral limit unchanged okay which is greater than or equal to 2g minus mod okay here, here apply the limit in film 2g not really, this fact is not required actually so we are not going to split the f and minus f. So this is 2g plus limit infimum minus mod f and minus f d v. Right? Split the integral, integral over x, limit infimum 2g d mu plus integral over x limit in infimum minus mod fn minus f d okay also use since so we know that limit infimum an is equal to minus limit supremum an so the above inequality become integral over x limit infimum 2g minus mod fn minus f dg d mu is greater than or equal to first term is unaltered right integral 2g d mu second one is minus integral over x limit supremum mod fn minus f d mu okay so from this is equation number 8 from 7 and 8. Okay, we have. Okay, integral. Limit 2g is nothing but 2g. Right? Integral over x 2g d mu. This back. Limit infimum of 2g. 2g is a constant function. So this will become 2g. Minus limit. Sorry, integral over x limit supremum mod fn minus f d mu 
is less than or equal to integral over x. Limit infimum to g. Sorry. So limit infimum is outside of it. In the equation number seven. Limit infimum integral over x two g minus mod f n minus f. Now we speak the integration of right hand side. Limit infimum integral over x two g d mu plus limit infimum integral over x minus mod f n minus f d mu. Right. So limit infimum two g is integral two g is just two g d mu plus limit infimum. Minus can be taken outside this integral over x mod f n minus f d mu. Right? In both side we have 2g integral 2g cancel. So finally we have minus limit supremum integral over x. Sorry. Yeah. Right. Integral over x. Limit supremum mod f n minus f d mu is less than or equal to limit infimum minus integral mod f n minus f d mu. This limit can be taken out. So minus can be taken out. So my limit in from minus some sequence. So if we take limit minus outside of limit, we have limit supremum integral over x mod f n minus f d mu. Okay. So multiplying by minus one, then we have the reverse inequality. So that inequality will become mod supremum mod f n minus f d mu. Is less than or equal to integral over x limit supremum mod f n minus f d mu. Okay, since f of x equal to limit f n of x, so on the right hand side is zero limit supremum mod f n minus f equal to limit mod f n minus f. So this is zero. This is equation number from nine. Nine becomes the following. The inequality nine becomes. So left hand side is limit supremum integral over x mod f n minus f d mu is less than or equal to zero. So limit supremum always since mod f n minus f is non-negative. Okay, so sequence of non-negative functions. Yeah, the non-negative function modulus will occur. So f n minus f n will occur. Okay, then the absolute value character will occur. It's non-negative. Non-negative function of the limit supremum limit. All terms are non-negative. Will occur. Limit infimum more non-negative. Integral non-negative, integral value non-negative, limit infimum non-negative. The number ten is it? Yeah. So combining eleven and two, ten and eleven, so we get limit infimum integral over x mod f n minus f d mu equal to. It is in fact this is less than or equal limit supremum. Integral over x mod f n minus f d mu. So from 10, this is less than or equal to zero. This is greater than or equal to zero. Therefore, limit infimum integral over x mod f n minus f d mu equal to limit supremum integral over x mod f n minus f d mu equal. Therefore, the the common value is zero, right? Equal and it is equal to zero. Hence, hence, limits 
integral x mod fn minus f exists the common value of limit suprema infimum is the value okay three is okay then the easy consequence of three will be the equation four okay so we start with integral over x f d mu minus integral over x f and d mu modulus of this is equal to modulus integral over x f minus f and d mu right then which is less than or equal to if we take modulus inside the integral then it will become small bigger right mod f and minus f d mu Applying limit on both sides, this is greater than or equal to zero. Applying limit here, passing the limit as n tends to infinity, we have right mod integral over x f d mu minus integral over x f n d mu converged to zero as n tends to infinity. Thus, this is closed. Okay, this is going to zero. Therefore, limit in tends to infinity integral over x f n d mu is integral over x f d. So this is equation number four. Okay, the Lebesgue dominated convergence theorem is proved. 